Briggsy, um, a win at Cone um, tonight, a, a goal for yourself to open your account for the season. You've, you've got to be happy with that? Yeah, yeah, definitely, no. Um, obviously, on the back of Saturday, um, it was important to back it up. Um, and like you say, we, we came here and got the job done. And as a striker, you know, you, you want to score goals. So, enjoyed, enjoyed tapping that one into that. Definitely. And obviously, a busy sort of start to the season, obviously. A game at, at gig on Saturday, quite a, a good showpiece opening to the, the season. You're coming away to, to Combe tonight. It, it seemed to to get a sort of bit more um seemed to be a bit more energy about the, the certainly the second half when Combe were, were trying to get back in it. How do you, do you compare the two games? Yeah, well it's like two two completely different games really and it's two completely different grounds, obviously. At gig, it's a, it's a massive pitch. It's it's flat. It's we can get it down. We can play our stuff and get after teams. And <clears throat> here, it's as you say, it's a small pitch in comparison. It's on a hill, so we can't really. It's not really a pitch you can you can get it down and play on. So Gaffer spoke before the game about coming here and winning ugly, and it was definitely ugly at times. And we come away with a win. So job done. Definitely and. Um... Obviously, um, over the, the last few days, we've seen a, a good amount of fans, obviously over 5,000 at the weekend, a, a good number here today, 1,500 the, the total crowd, a, a good percentage of those coming across from Berry, I guess, from you and the rest of the lads. We spoke to, to Jack and, and Benny at the weekend about what it meant for, for them to, to come out of the tunnel at, mm -hmm. at Gig on Saturday and, and hear that noise. It's not just been heard at, at Gig on Saturday, it was heard here again tonight, and I guess that must give you and the rest of the lads a, a big boost. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To know that, like you say, almost 1,500 Ferry fans have trekked here on a Tuesday night and obviously there was trouble on the motorway getting here as well, so they stuck with it and got here. So absolutely, and I think echo what the lad said at the weekend. It's one of the reasons why I was persuaded to come here in the summer. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic to see them out in numbers again on Saturday and again tonight and hope to see even more of them. On, on Saturday again for the FA Cup. Definitely, delayed kickoff seems to be the thing at the moment. But just <laughs> just looking yeah. to Saturday, hopefully it's not a, a hat trick of delayed kickoffs. But uh, obviously the FA Cup, uh, a massive competition, and I, I guess from your perspective as a as a player, it, it's a, a massive opportunity to to put yourself and to put Barry in the spotlight at the weekend. Yeah, definitely. Just personally, it's first time I've played in FA Cup, um, so excited to you know it's. It's, it's the cup into it. it's um be amazing to make my debut in the FA Cup, so to speak. And um and yeah, again for the for the club it'll be gonna be a massive day for them as well because obviously previous two time winners as we know. So to make their return in the cup then hopefully we can put on a show and progress. And just finally on the, the FA Cup, obviously you mentioned there it's the, the first time you've you've played in it, everyone sort of has that FA Cup memory that they might have seen on, on TV or, or watched in person is the one that you can pinpoint yourself? <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, the, the one that sticks in my mind is the uh, 2005 FA Cup. Unfortunately, I'm a United fan and Arsenal beat us on penalties that day. So that's, the, that's kind of my first memory of the FA Cup. And unfortunately, it's a, it's a negative one. So hopefully we can have a positive one on Saturday. Definitely, and just finally on you, Toxter, as an opposition, obviously maybe the FA Cup offers that sort of a bit of unknown, obviously a, a team that are in and around sort of step five and step six of, of non-league, so they're going to come to Gigglein and and want to win. Is there anything that you can sort of, that you, do you think the gaffer's going to be sort of implementing for this game or is it going to be as business as usual as we've seen in the, the last week? Um, no, I think it's I think it's going to be more business as usual, really. I think... Anyone who comes to Gig Lane, it's it's going to be a big occasion for them. It's going to be their kind of cup final, so to speak. And like you say, they're going to want to put on a show. But for us, I think if we concentrate on how we want to play and how we want to impose ourselves on them, then we shouldn't have anything to worry about at anyone at this level or um, or anything. So, yeah, confident. Briggsy, well done on the goal tonight and uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.